Good evening, folks, and a hearty welcome to our drive-in theater. We have a wonderful evening's entertainment lined up for you, one that will provide several hours of pleasurable relaxation and diversion for you and your family. <laughs> Welcome to the drive-in. I'm Uncle Ron, and today, since we just lost Richard Donner, we're going to be talking about the 1978 classic Superman, starring Christopher Reeve, Margot Kidder, Gene Hackman, Ned Beatty. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. It was the um, first real superhero movie that kind of set the stage for everything else that came afterwards. Um, if it wasn't for this film, we wouldn't... I hate to say this... But if it wasn't for this film, we wouldn't have um, the DC Universe as we know it now. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Hmm. Anyway, uh, for my money, Christopher Reeve is the Superman. There is nobody who has yet to touch where he is uh, in regards to that role. Everybody else in the cast is great, but he kind of set this benchmark to where there is nobody else that has been able to touch him. Nobody else. Um, and and for my money, Richard Donner got Superman right. Um, and what's great about it is it's, it's, it feels old-fashioned, but it also seems very contemporary at the same time. There's a lot of stuff going on. And uh, that kind of makes you think like, hey, this seems like it might be the 60s or the 50s or whatever, uh, or maybe even the 30s at one point. But um, it just feels really timeless. And it's just so amazing. I can't say enough good things about it. Um, I remember when I first saw it, I was in awe. You know, the whole, you'll believe a man can fly um, I remember when I was in California with uh, my family, and uh, I found out how he could fly. But um, it just it, it 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 encapsulated everything for me. And that movie, when I first saw it, kind of showed me Superman and the whole thing. It wasn't uh, I didn't get into the comic books until much much later. Um, and uh, I know I said it before, but Richard Donner is the only person to get Superman right. And I know there are people who say, say that the Donner cuts garbage and this, that, and the other thing, but what they don't understand is he was shooting Superman and Superman 2 at the exact same time. It wasn't one of those situations where he shot back to back. He shot, if he was on the Daily Planet set, he shot everything for part one and part two then, and they got it all done. Fortress of Solitude, same thing. Kent Farm, same thing. Um, so, and there were a lot of things added into part two that they got that cut out. Um, and uh, what I what I love is that um, in the Donner cut, they get rid of the whole Clark kissing Lois to make her forget he's Superman thing. Um, Tom Mankiewicz uh, suggested Clark should never kiss Lois; it should always be Superman. And so Superman does the kiss thing, and it makes more sense in a way, even though it's just what he's wearing. But I digress. Superman is, and I know some people will argue about the ending, but I think the ending is great. I love the ending. Um, this is damn near a perfect superhero film. I love every second of it. Um, despite young Clark's weird looking nose that almost looks like it's glued on, um, it's still a fantastic film, and I love the ending, and I'll argue with people all day uh, about it. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I, um, wow, I just can't say enough good things about this film. And I know people are probably going to say you're ball washing, or you're doing this because Richard Donner just died. I'm like, I am doing it because Richard Donner just died, but I'm not ball washing because I, I want to earn favor um, with anybody. This is just how I feel about this movie, and I think it's amazing. And uh, if you haven't seen this film, you need to check it out. Um, put aside all of the mopey, dopey Superman. Put aside the Christopher Reeve um, clones. And uh, just go back and watch Superman from 1978. 
It's uh, and you'll believe that a man can fly, for sure. Yeah. So, thank you everybody for tuning in to the drive-in. Uh, I, I'm your uncle Ron. Uh, I promise next week we're going to talk about a film that isn't what some might call campy. Don't forget to head over to patreon.com forward slash I'm Uncle Ron and support the show. You get episodes early. You get bloopers when they happen because let's be honest, I'm a fucking professional. So uh, be sure that. And then all the social media is I'm at I'm Uncle Ron. Be sure to follow me. Subscribe, like all the stuff. I feel very cliche having to say it, but I am saying it. So please, please do support Uh, And we will see you next week as we talk about a little film about family.